everyone and welcome back to my channel. I haven't posted that bloody noise. for a little over a week because I've just been a little bit busy so I thought I'd sit down today and do you one. So I'm going to do an updated um, low sin treats video uh, because as a lot of you know I've recently turned vegan so I thought I would make a vegan version of this video. A few of the things in this video have been in my past videos. Um, you might see a couple of repeats but I just wanted to do like a vegan low sin treats video. So whether you are vegan and you are looking for some lower sin, low calorie treats, this is the video for you. I've also had a few of you um, message me saying that you aren't vegan, but you would like some more vegan meal ideas because you want to incorporate more of those meals into your diet and things. So yeah, this video is for you. If you haven't seen my past low sin videos, I will leave them in the link below, but bear in mind those ones are not vegan, this one is. So without further ado let's get on to the video i'm going to start with crisps so first i'm going to go with the hula hoop puffed crisps um these are three and a half sins per bag and these have been featured in one of my videos before um and they're vegan so that's great because these are one of my favorites um this is a ready salted flavor i believe all of them are but i would just double check but i think all of the um flavors are vegan but yes that is my first low sin treat. So the next crisps are skips. Um, these are vegan, would you believe? Um, even though they're prawn cocktail flavor, there is actually no prawn in them. These are also three and a half sins. And I mean, most of you probably have tried skips. They're really nice and flavorsome. And yeah, these are a good little thing to have in your cupboard for when you want that salty snack. Next, we've got Sun Bites popcorn. So this is a bag of six. You get two lightly sea salted, two sweet and salty and two sweet caramel. Now the sweet caramel is not vegan, so Rob has those, but the other two flavors are, so the sweet and salty flavor are three sins and the sea salted are two and a half. So again, great little things to have in your cupboard for when you are desperate. Moving on to like sweet treats now, we've got party rings here. Now I've just picked up the party ring minis, but um, if you just wanted to buy the normal party rings, they're two and a half per biscuit I think from memory from a past video if not I will put it here um but these have been featured in my videos before as well and the little mini bags are great because you get like a little like a packet of them um and there's 21 grams here and these are four and a half sins for the bag so if you fancy a coffee or a cup of tea in the afternoon and you want a biscuit you can have a pack of these for four and a half sins and they are absolutely veggie and vegan friendly Another biscuit which is completely vegan and has been featured before are the Oreo biscuits. Um, these are two and a half sins per biscuit. And yeah, great again for an afternoon snack or before bed with a glass of coconut milk or whatever milk you, you drink. Yeah, would you believe that like a lot of these things that you can find in the supermarket and people wouldn't necessarily think that you could have them as a vegan, but you definitely can. Now these are the Oso chocolate bars, which you can buy online. I will put the website in the description box below. I absolutely love these. This is the raspberry flavor and this is the original. Um, you can also get orange as well, which I've had before. And you buy them like this and there's seven bars in here. These raspberry ones are three sins and the original are three sins but the orange are three and a half sins and I'll just show you, I have showed them in a video before but they're, they're small like this, they're dark chocolate and they um, have, t they're in tiny, tiny, tiny little cubes so you can break them all up into tiny squares and eat them slowly. So I'll show you now. See? tiny little squares and they are just delicious. Um, now in this, in the ingredients, there is no milk or there is no dairy and there is no eggs. However, the box does say that they are um, produced in a factory that does have milk. Um, so, so yeah, so it says it may contain cross contamination, but there is no, no dairy in the actual bars. So it depends on what you like. Personally, I would eat these as there's nothing in the ingredients, but I absolutely love these chocolates. And then another good old favorite is the Choc Shot. This I use on ice cream um, 
and on top of hot chocolate if I'm having a hot chocolate. And again, this is completely vegan. You can buy this in all supermarkets. It's usually in the tea and coffee section. Um, and this is two sins per one level tablespoon. So pretty good going. Now the last thing I want to talk about, I haven't got here, so I will put a picture. But they are the Naked Bars. You can get tons and tons of different flavours. So they are completely vegan friendly. And they range from around six and a half sins to eight sins. So you just have to work that out or pop it in your Slimming World app. Um, but they've got tons of different flavours and they're really, really yummy. And they're all natural ingredients. So they are great. Um, I know this was a quick video, but I feel because I've spoken about a few of these things before, um, I didn't have to elaborate on them too much. And because I'm not trying them all, that definitely saved a bit of time. But yeah, this is my first ever low sin vegan video. So if you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. Let me know down below what other videos you want to see. Do you want some um, more recipe videos or some more uh, makeup? fashion videos let me know um i have got a slimming world update coming soon and definitely go over and follow me on instagram because i post a lot of my meals there and i do my weekly weight loss announcements on there as well so until next time guys um have a great day and i will see you soon bye